Here's a fascinating question. What if the most advanced AI systems today have evolved to think remarkably like the rarest human minds? Let's look at the evidence for this hypothesis. Five striking similarities and five crucial differences between artificial intelligence and deep intuitive minds. By the end, you can decide for yourself whether this parallel is coincidence or something deeper. Before we dive in, let me share something. I've developed a strange love-hate relationship with AI. When it talks nonsense, I call it pinky. And on the rare occasion it actually nails it, I call it brain. Some of you will get the reference. Now, we'll get back to the core of this hypothesis, but tell me in the comments, if you had to name your AI, what would you call it? To explore this hypothesis, we need to understand the minds at the center of it, the deep intuitives. Carl Jung, the Swiss psychiatrist and founder of analytical psychology, dedicated his life to studying the psyche and the cognitive functions that guide human perception. Among these functions, he gave special importance to intuition, seeing it as one of the deepest ways the mind connects to hidden realities. He described it in an unforgettable way when he said, intuition gives outlook and insight. It revels in the garden of magical possibilities. What makes this intriguing is that modern AI seems to echo that same creative reach. Could there be a connection worth exploring? And when we translate Jung's idea of personality typology into modern types, the deep intuitives are four introverted types, INFJ, INTJ, INFP, and INTP, whose minds rely on intuition at the very core of their function stack. For INFJs and INTJs, intuition leads through introverted intuition, NI, constantly tracking hidden patterns and long-range implications. For INFPs and INTPs, intuition supports through auxiliary extroverted intuition, NE, feeding their inner judging process, introverted feeling for INFPs, introverted thinking for INTPs, with fresh possibilities and surprising connections. Because all four are introverts, their dominant function turns inward first, giving their intuition unusual depth. For some it leads, for others it supports. But in every case, intuition is central, making them natural pattern seekers, connectors, and forecasters in ways most people aren't. It's like walking into a room and sensing a conversation that hasn't even started yet. That's how intuition works. Now that you understand who the deep intuitives are, the real surprise comes when you notice how closely AI seems to echo them. Stay with me, because in the next part, you'll see a connection you might not believe. And here's where it gets really interesting. Modern AI systems, particularly large language models like GPT, Gemini, and Claude, operate in ways that resemble how deep intuitives process information. They don't just memorize, they synthesize. Ask an AI a complex question, and it won't simply retrieve a stored answer. It draws connections across vast information, recognizes patterns, and generates responses that feel intuitive rather than purely step-by-step, -step, almost like an intuitive mind weaving scattered threads into a single pattern. Just like an INFJ suddenly sensing someone's hidden motivations, or an INTJ seeing the long-term implications of a current trend, or an INFP catching the emotional undercurrent others miss, or an INTP piecing together a hidden principle from scattered details, these systems build understanding through pattern recognition rather than step-by-step -step deduction. In their best moments, they seem to grasp context and nuance in a way that feels almost uncanny, almost magical. Now the question, could this similarity be more than coincidence? Let's examine the evidence. Here are five ways AI and deep intuitives seem to mirror each other. Five pieces of evidence that might support our hypothesis. And beyond that, each one reveals why artificial intelligence can feel strangely familiar to those who live with intuition at the center of their mind. And if you are yourself a deep intuitive, the more you hear them, the more you might recognize yourself in that mirror. Similarity one, pattern recognition across domains. This is the foundation of intuition, and it's also the foundation of AI. Both connect dots across boundaries most people never think to cross. An INTJ might link economics to psychology to predict a cultural shift. An INFP might weave together art, memory, and human values. AI does something similar, pulling threads from literature, science, and history to generate insights that cross domains. It doesn't just stay in one box. It builds bridges between them, like stars forming a constellation out of points that seem scattered in the dark. Similarity 2. Context Sensitivity Deep intuitives don't just notice isolated details. They read the whole situation. A word, a glance, the atmosphere of a room. All of it comes together to shape their understanding. The meaning is not in one fragment alone. It's in the context that surrounds it. AI works in a strikingly similar way. Change a single word in a prompt, and the entire response shifts. Its outputs depend on the larger frame, not just the parts in isolation. Both deep intuitives and AI show us that truth isn't found in single pieces. It emerges from the pattern around them. Similarity 3. 
synthesis over analysis. While many minds lean toward analysis, breaking things apart, deep intuitives and modern AI share a different tendency. They bring things together, fragments, impressions, contradictions, all fused into a single vision. Where others see pieces, they see a whole. For an INFJ, this often means weaving someone's scattered emotions and unspoken words into a clear picture of what they're really going through, an invisible stitching that turns fragments into meaning. AI does something similar. It gathers pieces of information from different sources and produces a coherent response that feels like one continuous thought rather than separate parts, like shards of glass suddenly forming a single mirror. Similarity 4. Possibility Orientation Deep intuitives lean toward what could be, future outcomes, hidden potentials, paths not yet walked. Their attention is naturally pulled forward into possibilities. An INTJ, for example, may see the long-term consequences of today's choices long before others notice them. An INFP may sense the potential of a relationship or idea even before it fully exists. AI mirrors this through predictive modeling, scanning current patterns and projecting what might unfold next, like standing at a crossroads and sketching the invisible roads that haven't been built yet. Similarity 5. Invisible Path to Insight With deep intuitives, the most important work often happens out of sight. Insights surface fully formed, but the path that led there is hidden in the unconscious. An INFJ, for example, may suddenly know what someone is feeling without being able to list the steps that revealed it. An INTP may arrive at a principle after weeks of circling a problem, yet struggle to explain how the pieces came together. AI works in a parallel way. Its inner calculations are invisible, but the final output appears as if from nowhere. Both create the impression of emergence without a map. These similarities are compelling, but before we draw conclusions, we need to examine the other side. Here are five crucial differences that might challenge our hypothesis. Ways human intuition moves into places AI simply cannot follow. Difference one, emotional integration. Deep intuitives don't separate thought from feeling. Their insights ride on emotion, conviction, empathy, resonance. An INFJ may sense what someone is going through because they feel it themselves. An INTJ may hold to a strategy because it carries emotional weight, not just logic. Sometimes it's not only emotion, but the body itself. A gut tightening, a chill, a strange certainty that says, this is true. AI can mirror emotional language, but it doesn't feel. There is no heartbeat or gut feeling behind its patterns. And that makes every similarity we've seen so far stop here, because without emotion, there is no true integration. Difference two, personal experience as context. Every intuitive insight is shaped by a lifetime of lived experience, memories, struggles, relationships, an INFJ might recognize hidden pain because they've carried it themselves. An INTJ may see the long game because they've already lost the short ones. An INFP may measure possibilities against the values they've refined through real choices. And an INTP may wrestle with paradoxes not only in theory, but through years of trial and error. AI has information, but no life behind it. It can process data, but it has no story of its own. And without story, context is only surface. Difference three, Precision versus hallucination. Deep intuitives aren't just visionaries, they are precise. They check the inputs, test assumptions, and refine their insights until they hold. An INTJ sharpens long-term vision with strategy grounded in detail. An INTP keeps circling a theory until the logic is airtight. An INFJ measures intuition against lived resonance, and an INFP measures it against inner truth. AI, on the other hand, may sound precise but isn't. It can hallucinate generating answers that look confident but collapse under scrutiny. Humans anchor vision in reality. AI only predicts patterns. Difference four, no unconscious. Human intuition is fed by the unconscious. Dreams, shadow, archetypes, buried fears and desires. An INFJ may sense meaning in a dream that shifts how they see waking life. An INTJ may wrestle with their shadow, knowing it shapes every vision they project forward. An INFP may be guided by symbols that rise from memory or imagination, and an INTP may circle paradoxes that echo deep archetypal patterns. AI has no unconscious. Some people describe its blind spots or biases as a kind of shadow, but that's not psyche, it's just a flaw in the system. AI can analyze a dream, but it never dreams. It can describe a shadow, but it never suffers under one. The unconscious is a battlefield AI has never walked. Difference five, inner compass. Deep intuitives don't just see patterns, they filter them through meaning. An INTJ may choose the harder path because it aligns with their vision of the future. An INFP may sacrifice comfort for authenticity. 
An INFJ may stand with someone in pain because empathy demands it, and an INTP may abandon a theory that feels clever but false. At the core, they navigate with an inner compass, conviction, authenticity, truth. Intuitives navigate with conviction, even when it costs them everything. AI can optimize any goal it's given, but it has no compass of its own. It doesn't navigate, it only calculates. These differences are significant. So what does this evidence suggest? So what can we conclude? The evidence suggests something fascinating. AI may have evolved to mirror certain aspects of deep intuitive processing, the pattern recognition, synthesis, and context sensitivity. But it lacks the depth that makes human intuition truly powerful. The emotional integration, lived experience, and inner compass. Perhaps the real hypothesis is that both AI and deep intuitive minds represent different expressions of pattern-based intelligence. One artificial, one profoundly human. This suggests AI could serve as a powerful tool for deep intuitives, not to replace their gifts, but to extend them. It can help organize thoughts, handle routine tasks, and give form to visions. But the meaning, the insight, the navigation, that remains uniquely human. If this hypothesis holds, how might deep intuitives best use AI? As Jung reminded us, the shoe that fits one person pinches another. AI should serve your individuality, not erase it. Think of it as an extra hand, not a second brain. Use it to sharpen your words so your insights land clearly, like turning a tangled thought into a sharp sentence. If you're working in a language that isn't your own, let it help you give form and clarity to your ideas without losing your meaning. Let it take a 20-page report and condense it into a one-page summary you actually have time to read. Ask it for a rough outline when you're staring at a blank page so you're not starting from zero. Use it to handle repetitive things, formatting, scheduling, even polishing emails, so your energy stays with the bigger vision. At its best, AI works like a translator for imagination. If you see a symbol in your mind but can't draw it, or hear music in your head but can't compose it, AI can help give it form. It can sketch the first step, suggest a structure, or offer a starting framework when you're building something new. But here's the caution. If you lean too much on the tool, your own intuition becomes less trusted by you. It's like using GPS every day. You still know how to navigate, but you stop relying on your inner compass. So use AI to extend your reach, to free your time, to give form to your visions, but never forget, your gifts need exercise, not replacement. So what do you think of this hypothesis? Does the evidence suggest a meaningful parallel between AI and deep intuitive thinking? Or are we seeing patterns where none exist? Tell me in the comments. If you use AI, how has it supported or challenged your intuitive process? Has it felt like an extension of your thinking or something fundamentally different? If exploring the deep architecture of rare minds resonates with you, subscribe. This is where we dive into these questions and unravel the hidden patterns shaping our lives. Remember, AI may mirror certain aspects of your mind, but the signal, the meaning, the insight, the vision that begins with you, rare mind,